Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now don't worry about that ship in the distance, that's from a previous video that we're going to be using later on in this video. But today's video is about the Cyclops Caravel. Now that is a very fancy name. To give you a comparison of the size compared to my character, so it's a lot smaller than the DSi Divinity which is sitting down there in a little bit of a broken mess. Now this thing is basically like a light attack ship. It's very, very useful. It's more of a scout ship, really. It's very, very useful if you want to quickly skim over an area to see if there's any enemies nearby, and it's slightly prepared to handle some form of combat. So on the top, we have like the little R2-D2 guy sitting up here. I presume this is from Star Wars, I guess, but I'm not too sure. If someone could correct me on that, that would be great. If we come down below here, we have a little button which we can press. And if I press it, it opens up the little entrance to the ship, which is all very, very fancy. Now if I just sit in the ship, like so, and close it all up, look how cool that is, that is so cool. It is a little bit buggy, it will say if you're moving at high speeds and do this, that door might ping off and kill you, so do be aware. So in here we have little seats, unfortunately you can't exactly sit on them, because they're not proper chairs. And across in here, we have like the bridge command, that's how you control the ship through there. Around here we've got some beds, unfortunately you can't sit on them. And you also got like a little medical bay type area around here where you could cook stuff. Well, not medical bay, a kitchen in fact, where you could cook stuff. It is very, very small quarters by the way. Exceptionally small quarters. Then we got buns here which might be able to do something in fact. If I could just move, thank you. So yeah, we have a few things. There are scripts to do here. I'm not going to go through them all, but there are a lot of little fancy things around here. So through here, we have some auction levels, ton auction on and off and all that. Little screen so you can see how much power you're using, etc, etc. But let's get in it for a moment. It is really hard to get through all this, by the way. If you're wondering, I'm clacking my keyboard quite a lot. It's very difficult to work your way through this little ship. So if I get in here, this is the view of the ship. Okay. It's, very, it's a very small view, a very restricted view, and know that crosshair, as you can see down there at the bottom, near the little LCD screen, is not a crosshair, unfortunately. All, everything else like goes towards the top of the screen. They have, of course, a Gatling gun, you have a missile launcher, you have a camera on top, which is a very nice thing to do, and you have a camera which is constantly spinning around and around. It'll make you feel sick if you sit on that. But yes, if I exit out this, go third person, Let's take a proper little looky round. So this is the ship in the 360. There's your little like, there's a little seat where I'm sitting in. They got a little thing on front. I personally would remove that little um circle thing from the view so I could have a much, much clearer view out the front. But it is aesthetics as always. Now this thing turns very difficultly. I am saying that compared to the DSi Divinity. So if we just move around here, let me just go. It's falling for some reason. I wasn't realize I didn't realize that. But this thing really does turn like a truck. It's very heavy. It is very fast. It doesn't stop very quickly, unfortunately. You can see here it isn't stopping too quickly. Well, actually, it does stop fairly quickly if you like turn around. But that's the same as most ships. If I can now just find where the DSI Divinity is. We can then ram into it and I'll show you something really incredible with this ship. So there's the DSi Divinity. If I can just stop myself right here. Let me just do this. Come on. And we are going to ram ourselves into that other mod. Which should have came before this video. I'm hoping I did upload it like that. So here we go. Let's just ram ourselves into the DSi Divinity. Oh my god. Well, that didn't happen last time, unfortunately. <laughs> well, there goes the Caravel. Here's the Divinity. They both took heavy damage right there. Heavy, heavy damage. I think that's part of the Divinity. Where is the Caravel? Where'd it go? I think it's floating off into space. I think this is the last little bit of the ship, unfortunately. Yep, yeah, there it is. That is the Caravel. That was a big crash. What I was going to show you was, when I did it before, I'm wondering if like there was an update which screwed over this, when I rammed the Caravel into the DSi Divinity beforehand, 
it literally split the divinity in half and the caravel remained unscathed. But something must have changed, unless I hit it at a bad angle. But yeah, anyway, that was <laughs> that was the Cyclops Caravel. It's in the description below if you want to try it yourself. And I'll be back with another another mod showcase video some point soon. This poor ship. Really, it's poor ship. Anyway, bye-bye.